said something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I got real mad. I told you, turn it off. <laughs> you got mad too, Phil. That boy was too old man. You got a heart, you got a flag, she got a tongue. <laughs> and I was like, why don't she stop with this tattoo or something? I'm, not, I'm just mad at I'm just mad at her mama. I'm mad at her mama. And she just being a mama, baby, well, I can't, I'm driving right now, I can't, I can't go back there. I'm getting mad about it now. When you were mad, you were mad too. Well, I was mad too. Ooh, man. But anyway, Boy, I really ready to fight. But anyway, but listen, that's a good. Now, now we're gonna we gonna laugh right no more. So she went off last week to play uh is it soccer? Yeah. And she was looked at by a scout from other oh, scouts. So see, she didn't have to really go to do that, but see, she just she just playing all her cards. She's gonna make it to college on her academics. Yep, 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 yep. But she's just going on the, on the, you know, just on the side to get some yep. athletic, yes. you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, just get a scholarship like that. But get nobody do it like her. Yes. Right. Amen, yes. amen. I don't, I don't care how many hearts she got to chase down and how many teeth she got to get and how many toes she got to go against. She's going to make it. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> amen. Amen. And you know what? I got to put my wife in you know, a lady too, which trying to make me. She said, she was making this sound serious. She said, Vernon? I'm like, yeah. She said, have you seen the, uh, Katrina's face? Look Amen. Like, no. You, you, you really need to look at it. <laughs> I mean, she had a serious face. I said, you know, I said, oh, Lord, what done happened? And I get on there and see that, and then I have to go and repent and pray and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. And to rejoice and be glad in it. Right, right. And I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, yes. You didn't make it. You should right. rejoice and be glad in yeah, it. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Now, listen, it can't be that bad. Because yes. everything he made, he said it was good. Now, yes. I'm going to read the Bible. Amen. It was good. Amen. And I'm glad to see you here because you must be good. Because yeah. God made you. Amen. Tell your neighbor that you're good. I'm good. Tell, tell her that I'm good. I'm good because God made me. You know, so the next time somebody tell you, you think you're always saying, yes, ma'am, and yes, I'm good. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Amen. Uh, we have a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 First Kings. The 17th chapter. We're getting ready to come up on Brunch with the Rices. Then we're going to get ready to come up with Super Sunday. Yep, yep, yep. I think we're just going to call it a Super Weekend. Yes. Amen. Because it's going to be good. And make it your business to get here on, on next week. Amen. Because it's going to be a blessing. Yes, Amen. Like never before. I see I see my I see my other group of back there. Davion. Davion been up there in the beta club somewhere flying around. I'm going to not fly around. But he may be flying. I don't know. He's been going different places and stuff like that, and, and uh, we're just glad to see them out. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm, I'm glad to see my children all the time. It's up on the screen. It's up on the screen. First Kings, the 17th chapter. And we're just going to read it out here and get it out of the way. Verses 1 through 16. Amen. When you finally say amen, amen. if you still look at them, still looking. Amen. <coughs> Okay, uh, you there? Amen. Read. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was, if, was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there should not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee thence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. That it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. For he for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. 
When it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, go leave Zarephath, which belongs to Zion, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, <coughs> behold, the widow woman was there, gathering up sticks. And he called to her and said, and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Mm -hmm. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray, thee, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a morsel <coughs> of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto, unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me there of a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and thy son. For thus, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal should not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he in her house did eat many days, and the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. Amen. 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 What does that have to do with what you've been teaching all along? Well, I'm pretty sure by now, <coughs> and I hope by now, it already is in your heart what you're going to do on Super Sunday. All right. So I'm not going to talk to you about money. I'm going to talk to you about the choices you make after you decide to do what you're going to do with your heart. Amen. All right. All right. Yes. Amen. Amen. But see, God never asks you to do anything unless he's going to reward you for it. Yes, right. yes. I heard something the other day that it was, it was kind of uh, profound to me. I don't know why my mic is cutting off. It was kind of profound to me. <coughs> it was like, don't do anything good and expect anything from right, the Lord. Right. Why would you be obedient to God and not expect anything in return? Right. Amen. Come on. All right. Talk to me. God says... I'm a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. Or in other words, do what I ask them to do. God said, if you do what I ask you to do, I will reward you for it. Are y'all getting this? He, he, wants, he wants to reward you for the choices you make for him. Amen. See, he wants to get you to your next place that he always had prepared for you. But oftentimes, I ain't gonna deal with this all night. Oftentimes, he will cause you to make the choices that you have to make in order to see him. Yes. All right. All right. Okay, watch. We saw, we looked at in Sunday school this morning. It was talking about the prodigal son. Yeah. The only reason the son was prodigal was because of the choice he made. That's right. All right. Okay. All right. That's the only reason he was prodigal. He was not prodigal because of something somebody did to him. Right. It wasn't an old poor me. Right. He made a choice. Yes. Amen. Amen. So the choices we make determine what we're going to get from God. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See, that's why God said, whatever, whatever, whatever you do, do it to please me. Yes. Right. Yes. Then when yes. you do it to please him, then he rewards you for, for pleasing him. Right. <laughs> You can't go wrong. You right. can't go wrong. You can't. So what? When we read the story in the first king, see, God already set things in motion. I don't know if you called any of that, but God always set things in motion for you to be blessed. Yes. All right. Amen. So let me go back to first Kings and show you exactly what was going on. Uh -huh. Elijah was a man of God. All right. Amen. 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 He was preaching. Elijah was so powerful in what he was doing. He could call down heaven from yeah, fire, yeah, from, uh, yeah. fire from heaven, and make it lick up water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
make it lick up stone mm -hmm. and everything around it. Yeah. That's how bad he was. He was one man going against a whole bunch of prophets that didn't believe in the God. Right, he was right. so bad, he would make fun of other people's gods. Yeah. He said, your God must be on vacation. Your yeah. God must be sweet. Yeah. Your God must can't do this. And my God is bad. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and let y'all do what y'all do. I'm going to go take me a nap. And come back, because y'all still ain't going to get nothing dug up. When I'm talking to my God, he's going to come. Yes, sir. All right. Quit fasting yesterday. All right. You understand what I'm saying? So what? So he does that. So what? Now, here's the thing about it. It's one thing to claim that you love God. I ain't talking about Elijah right now. I'm bringing you no home right now. It's one thing to claim you love God, and then the minute trouble hits you, run. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. 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 Yes, he done fought a bunch of male prophets, and here come one Jezebel. Yeah. yeah. And runs him out of town. Yes, sir. All she said was, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and he leaves. Yeah. But he called out fire from heaven. Right. Yeah. He called out fire from heaven and made fun of the other prophets. Now a woman run him out of town. Right. Yeah. I know you said, not me. Some of y'all running now for oh, your God. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hope you see Christ. Yeah. Amen. You better make a choice in your mind. That's it. Amen. Amen. See, see, God is trying to get you to a place, but he got he orchestrates stuff. Because sometimes the choices you make, God got it already set up. So what? So he leaves and he go hide in a cave. Right. Right. He hides in a cave. The man of God. Powerful. Yes, yes. Hiding yes. in a cave on a wall. Yes, 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 yes. But even though he's scared. Yeah. God gonna take care of him. Yes, he is. Right. Right. He said, I'm gonna hide you in a cave by a brook. Yes. You got something to drink. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He said, I'm gonna hide you in the cave, you got something to drink. I'm gonna send ravens to feed you some bread. Yes, right. yes, yes. Morning and evening. Yes. While you hiding. Right. Ain't that something while you supposed to be doing God's work and you hide, he still to take care of you? Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Why you hide to keep him yes. doing what he can to do? Yes. He'll still take care of you. Hallelujah. Amen. So what? So, but you got to be careful of the choices you make yes. because the choices that make you get between a rock and a hard place. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. You ain't, and listen, once you get between a rock and a hard place, you ain't got nowhere to go but where you got to go. That's it. Right. That's it. Amen. Anybody ever made some choices and you, didn't, you hate you made that choice, Amen. but you can't take it back? Right. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you you can't you can't get it back. Yep. Right. You made the choice. Now you got to deal with the choice. Yes, right. yes, yes. So he makes the choice. But see, God is a, and how many know God is sovereign? Yes, yes. That means He know everything. Yes. He know the, He know the end from the beginning. Yes. He already know what you're gonna go through. So anything you do, you don't surprise him. Right. He already knew Katrina was gonna put it on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> he already knew it. And he already knew I go love Rather when I saw him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I admit, but uh, listen, but the choices you make can be detrimental to your life. Yeah. But God loves you anyway. Yeah. So what? Sometimes when you make a choice, I told you, you get between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Elijah made a choice. Now he, watch it, watch it, the choice he made. Now God's going to move him to the next rock to play. Sometimes when God's ready to move you, you don't like it. Yeah. 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 All right. He dries up the brook. Ain't no water. Yes, right. yes. He, he can't drink now. He got to get some water. Raven's going to bring some bread. Raven gone somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. No more bread. Yeah. Yes. Now he got to move. Amen. Amen. He can't stay in the cave. Yeah. Not watch it. You think he would leave that by God's obedience and go to a better place. Now he leaves the cave, the dried up brook and no bread, and go to a land where there's a famine. Yes, yeah. yes. Ain't that just like God, you get in a tight place and he put you in a tighter place? Yeah. Right. Okay. That's like having pen hole two sides are too small. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know, some of y'all try to put on y'all pants, y'all lay down and put them on. They're too tight. Too little. You know you ain't that little no more. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Nobody to tell me what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's ha watch. So now he leaves there and watch. Before she, before he gets there, he's already God saw <laughs> He's already know the plans he's gonna prosper you with. So he goes and talks to the widow woman. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. He tells the woman, a man coming. Yes. 
by the name of Elijah. Yes. You take care when he get here. Amen. Amen. See, God already know the plan to prosper you and to bring you good success. Yes. He know the end from the beginning. Yes. 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 Before he sent Elijah to the cave, before he sent Elijah to the land of famine, he already making preparation. Right. So don't you fret. Don't you fear when God leads you in tight places. Amen. He's the God of your tight yes. places. Yes. Ain't nobody saying nothing to me. Yes. He's the God. Listen, when you get in a tight place, you already know it. That's Listen, right. the son said he'll never, yes. uh-uh, never, yes. no, no, never put more on you yes. than you can bear. Right. Right. Yes. Amen. He'll never. The yes. son right had the son right to believe that, uh-uh, never. Never. Put more on you than you can bear. When it look like you hungry and ain't got nothing to eat, keep on pushing. Yeah. Hunger day is about to come to an end. Yeah. Keep pushing. When it look like ain't nothing going right, don't you stop praying. Right. The Bible yeah. says don't grow weary right. and well right. doing it. Right. Do right. see. Right. I'm preaching better y'all saying amen. Amen. And do see that you'll reap. Yeah. If you faint not, yeah. you can't stop doing good. Right. That's right. You can't treat folks right when you feel like it. Right. 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 All right. Amen. No, not when you feel like it. You gotta treat folks right all the time. All the time. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You can't come to church when it's convenient. All right. All right. For you. Right. All right. Amen. Jesus. And then you want the church watch it to be right there for you when you ain't convenient. All right. I hit somebody hard right there. Yes, yes. See, yes. It's, a, it's all a matter of doing what you got to do and God directing you. Yes. God know better. Right. Yes, he, yes, he, he know better. Listen, I always want, I said, I said, God is mean. I said it a long time ago. A long time ago. Right. I said, God is mean. He could have taken me out of Egypt. He could have took my cross that way. Yeah. And he'd have been there in a little bit. No, he took it a long way. Yeah. yeah. But if he took it a short way, they wouldn't, they wouldn't realize nothing. All right. That's right. And you're going to always have somebody going with you no matter which way you That's go. That's right. Don't complain. Amen. 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 I declare, I believe somebody when they got down to, they done got down to the Red Sea. And somebody, and I know somebody said, now look at Moses. Amen. <laughs> Them brought us away. Now, now you see, it's not Egypt. Right. And then, I, but somebody was saying this. I bet somebody preached it about Egypt. Boy, when he split that Red Sea, I'm going to give me a couple of them catfish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you see, somebody was, whoa, 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 how much right. split the boat? How much split it? Right. Yeah. See, somebody can see some good and some bad. Yeah. Right. Amen. Somebody was just glad to get out of Egypt. Yeah. Because yeah. somebody said, Moses, how much split the sea? He's on Pharaoh. <laughs> well, watch. God knows better than you. Yes. All right. All right. All right. He know the plan to prosper yes. Yes, to bring you good success. Yes. So Amen. what? Even though God orchestrates things, you got to follow instructions. Yes, 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 yes. He done told Elijah what to do. So Elijah gets down to the land of the family. And he meets the woman that said, the woman meets him again and said, Lady, I need some help. He says, I need some water. A land of famine. Mm -hmm. See, she know he coming, so she ain't surprised. I give you some water. Mm -hmm. Ain't no problem. I will give you some water. Mm -hmm. Ain't no problem. Mm -hmm. So she gives him water. Mm -hmm. So now the instructions are, will you give me a meal, a cake? Mm -hmm. Say, no, no, look, wait a minute now. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 preacher. Because if that had been me asking y'all for your last cup of water and your last cake, I'd have been on CNN. Right. Preacher asking her for the last meal. She done told him, me and my boy, I'm going to fix the cake and me and my boy going to eat it and die. Right. She done wrote her obituary. Yeah. She done called Shaw and Mercy and all of them. Yeah. The maid her funeral. out. Yeah. No, she know, she know who's going to sing at it. Yeah. Come on. God already instructed her on what to do. Amen. But she said, no. Amen. But watch, here comes the instruction. He said, listen, lady. Listen, because even though he, 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 he don't read, he still got to he gotta, he gotta know how about God. He said, listen to me, ma'am. He said, fix the first cake for me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, often time, if that was number one, there's going to be a number two. That's right. Fix the first one for me. Then she didn't lie. She said, I ain't got none. Right. She didn't lie. She didn't have enough for him. 
But what she has, she won't give her. Right. Ain't that something about her? Yeah. Hey Amen, just like y'all. <laughs> you got it, but you ain't going to give it. Because it's your last. Right. <laughs> That's all I got. I ain't got no more. Well, you said that you ain't going to get no more. Because yeah. out of your mouth, going to be just like that. Yeah. I gave you some yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you today. Don't you pray for me with bread under your arm. Right. Give me something to eat when I'm hungry. Right. Don't talk about praying for me. But the Lord loves you, he must not, because you got a loaf of bread and won't give me a slice. All right. That way you do that. I hear what I'm saying? Yes. You got to understand, when God gives you instruction, he gives you instruction to bless the what? This is a twofold blessing. Okay. First of all, Elijah hungry. Yeah. yeah. He ain't, the brook done dried up on him. Yes. Where he was. The raven ain't feeding no more. He don't have to walk. Hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody, no, let me ask you a question. Anybody ever been hungry? Amen. No, no, no. Yeah. I ain't talking about you miss bread. Have you ever been hungry? Yeah. No, no, I ain't talking about you went a day with them you fuck your bag. You ever been hungry and had no food? Right. I'm, I'm talking about the time when you go in the fridge and look. Right. And you stand there and look. Yeah. And the longer you look, yeah. it still ain't nothing else. Yeah. All right. I mean, when the water jug dry. All right. <laughs> and you see, you keep going to it like something's going to come in there. Uh, Ain't nothing. I'm, that, that, I'm telling you, that, you don't know where your next meal coming from. All right. Who ever been homie like that? Amen. 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 Come on now. And you, and you, and you, and I, you know, I don't know if y'all have done it now. You go in there and look and you pick up the picture and you shake it like it's, you know, like, it's like you don't look through. You hope some water in it. Come on. I'm talking about that type of hunger. Elijah hungry. Yeah. Yeah. But he said, lady, he said, listen, lady, if you bless me like God had already told you, mm -hmm. if you bless me, yep. then you'll be blessed. Yep, yep, yep. See, if you learn to be a blessing, yes. you'll get blessed. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Right. See, God had already gave me, so he said, listen, out of your little bit, if you give me a little to That's the man of God, yeah. you'll get a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They said, the woman said, okay, God, I'm going to do what you say, man of God, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah. now, when I gave it to you, she got happy then because now she ain't ready to die no more because she said the meal and the oil didn't go to waste. Oh, it had more to do. Listen, God, when God blessed you, he never blessed you a little bit. Yeah. It's about the choices you make depending on what right, you get. Right, right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, amen, amen. You choosing that sorry man. Well, he ought to be sorry. You ain't making him go to work. Let right. him play Nintendo. Right. It's a choice that you make. Yeah. Yeah. You got that woman that, 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 that got another boyfriend. Well, that's your fault. Yeah. Right. Be a man. Yeah. Right. Whoop it on, they ain't going to get nothing changed. Right, right. right. They're going to make her go ahead on. Right. Be the man. Right. Hey, Rick Flush had to be the man. You beat the man. You got to be the man. Yeah. <laughs> No, you, you got to do it. You got to make some choices. Amen. Some choices in life will determine your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. You got to choose. The, watch. God said, choose this day. This yeah. day. This yeah. day, whom you go serve. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Then he, said, now, he said, make up your mind now, because you can't be what you watch you. Right. See, this means he don't want you to be what you watch you. If you wish you watch it, he don't like you. Right. Right. The Bible says he'll spit you or bump you out of his That's mouth. Right. He says, I wish you be either hot or cold. Yes, either yes, way, yes. I can use you. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, yes. Bryce. Either way, I can use you. If you make up your mind, you're going to be hot for me. Yes. Then I know you're going to be a blessing. Yes. But if you make up your mind, you'll be cold. I'll turn your heart. Yes. Turn your heart. I tell you how, but when you back and forth, yeah. you're in church today, you out of church tomorrow. Yeah. No, that ain't gonna work. Right? Right? Amen. That ain't gonna work. You gonna pay a tithe and take a tithe back. Yep. Amen. That ain't gonna work. <coughs> that ain't gonna work. You're gonna love somebody tomorrow, hate them today. That ain't right. gonna work. Amen. You gotta be consistent. Yes, the right. Bible calls it steadfast, unmovable, always right. about right. 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 You gotta make up your mind that you're gonna stay on it. See, it take, listen, it take a bold individual to make up their mind they're going to do what they got to do. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, watch this. Watch this. I was told this. Boy, this, this myth of Rodney Beer. Y'all know Rodney Faye, remember today? Right. One of the favorites. Amen. The other day when Rodney went to her, uh, huh? Soccer. soccer thing, yeah. Mom, like my mom do. I got, let me throw this in there. You know, you can ask mom for something. Mama gonna do it. Yeah. Now daddy will too. Yeah. But depending on where you stay, yeah. daddy will have to walk all the way to Jackson yeah. and come back before you make up your mind to do it. Yeah. All 
<laughs> well, let me see. Mom ain't going to say that. Amen. Mom said, well, let, let's see how much it costs to get there. Oh, or if mom already know, mom going to give you her life. Yeah. <coughs> now, daddy will too, but he going to do his credit report on his own child. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. You need to wash them dishes before you leave. <laughs> get your room clean up. Yeah. Yep. 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 Get, come on. You got, you got to do it. You got But mama's going to come see him. Yes, you? God. Yeah. Mama give her a laugh. Amen. And see, and then, and then what? And then Roswell says, after mom gave her her last, Rob said, well, mama, since you gave me your last, yeah. you take this and put it in church. Yes, 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 mm. yes, yes. Bless the Lord. So now she puts it in church. Yes. And then now the blessing yes, 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 yes. overtakes yeah. her and mama. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. So, so. <coughs> Say, Mama, give me her life. Yes. So let me be a blessing. Let me take what I got and put it in church. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yeah. The yeah. meal bell ain't gonna go like it. Right. Yeah. All ain't gonna run out. Right. Cause she got a mind to give to God. Right. Amen. She got a mind to give to God. And see, that's the way you gotta operate. You can't listen to me. You can't be so stingy that you squeak when you walk. All right. Right. Well, well, well. Come on now. And I, I learned this. The more you try to hold on to and compromise from God, yes. the more you're going to lose. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm not joking with you. I tell you what, when God tell you, listen, if God tell you to do something, you're well able to do it. Right. Amen. I don't care what it is. If he, if he tell you to give... Forty dollars, and you got, and you claim I ain't got but forty cent in change. He didn't ask you for change. Yeah. He said, "I don't want the kind of jingle. Give me the kind of four. Yeah, yeah. But you rather give the jingle kind. <laughs> Come on. Amen. But you won't fall in the in, in, in the process. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So what? So what? So what? When God is directing you, you got to learn to make the right choices. Amen. Amen. So here's a choice they have got to make. The will of deal exactly by following divine instructions. God has already orchestrated you right. in your life on what to do. Right. Amen. Exactly. He has. Okay, Amen. Okay, what? I ain't talking about money. Amen. The law says you need to understand what your purpose is in life. Amen. Right. Amen. Here's an instruction. Here's an instruction. Forgive. Yes. And you shall be forgiven. Amen. 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 But too many people are walking around here in unforgiveness. Yes. Right. Yes. I ain't talking about out there. I say in here. Yes. Right. You got to learn to forgive. Yep. Cause forgive will block all your stuff. Unforgiveness right. will block all your stuff. Yep. Right. Come on, it'll block. It'll block. It, it'll damn up everything you want to flow. That's true. Well, I ain't in unforgiveness. Well, let me tell you what I'm beginning to. You mad? Yeah. Right. And been mad for a long time. Amen. Somebody. Amen. And, 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 and you now you've been so wrong, you don't forget why you mad, but all you know you're going to be mad. Yeah. Come on. Amen. And, see, that's unforgiveness. Amen. The Bible says forgive. Right. He wants you to forgive. This is a bad instruction. Now, look, everything I'm telling you about the, the choices you make, God is not asking you. Those are commandments. Amen. I looked at them, and at, at the end of them, there are no, there are no question marks. Right. Amen. You got to forgive yes, to be forgiven. Yes, he said, if you want a friend, you got to show yourself friendly. friendly. Yeah. If you don't show yourself friendly, right. you can't be a friend. Right. Right. Who going to trust an unfriendly joker? Right, right, right. <laughs> <No>. Come on. <coughs> These are divine instructions. Divine instruction, give. Yes. And it shall be. Yeah. But you can't get it unless you yeah. You say, I want. Yeah. Amen. Then he goes on to say, he said, he said that the second thing was a, a, the famine caused a dilemma. Sometimes God will put you in a situation and you'll holler, why me? Amen. Why me? But here's what you'll say in a setting like this. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be satisfied. Yeah. Just bless me, Lord, anyway. And then he leads you to a place of a dilemma. Yeah. <coughs> now, you mad or you messed up, but you say anyway, he's trying to bless you. Yeah. He got to get you in a place to yeah. bless you. Right. 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 
Because oftentimes, if God don't put you, don't allow you to go in a dilemma, you will swear to God you did it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, this is my money. No, it ain't. Right. No, it ain't. Because we don't determine in the Psalm 24, the earth is the law. And the food is the food is there. And, and, and all is it. It ain't yours. You're just supposed to be a steward over yeah. I remember when I had. You ain't never had. Yes. <laughs> you just been using. Right. Come on. Well, I got this. I had that bag. Right. I was saying in a minute, I, look what I got. I had the bag. Yep. And God showed me, I'm going to show you what you got. All right. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And he shot me off that horse. And I went crawling in. I was just like something. I ain't not y'all ain't never good. Lord, Lord, please help me. What I do wrong, Lord? Lord. Trying to cry. You know, he still faith. Stop faking it to make it. All right. Man, so you got the bad and the struggle. You give him a dilemma something. Then up and then watch this. Then sometimes when God puts you between a rock and a hard place, y'all will have a discussion. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. If you ain't never talked to God, you're going to talk to him. you going to, boy, you'll roll out the bed in the middle of the night on me. Lord, help me, please. What's going on, Lord? Boy, you'll talk to God. You don't care. You'll be driving talking to God. You'll cut the radio and TV out. You'll put the cell phone down. You're going to have a discussion with God because you're in a dilemma. Right, right, right. And God will put you in a place where you can't talk to nobody but him because <coughs> mom and daddy can't help you. Right. And sister and brother can't help you. Grandmama and auntie can't help you. Uncle can't help you. Cut, they cannot help you. Amen. God said, this between you and me. Right? right. Between you and me. I don't care how much income tax you get back. Watch what I'm going to do with that income tax if you don't do right back. Right. I'm going to let the devil devour it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to talk to me again. Yes. Amen. We're going to have a discussion. Then we're going to listen. And ain't no you coming when we have a discussion talking about nobody but you. Because right. I ain't listening about nobody else. It's all about what you should yeah. have done, right. what you could have done, and what you ought to be doing. That's right. Ain't gonna be nothing about nobody. And God gonna show you you. Yes, yes. And what I love about God, he's a good listener. Yes. Hallelujah. He's a real good listener. Hallelujah. He'll let you talk to him. let you finish talking and he'll start talking. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. So he gives you divine instruction. Then he'll put you in the, he'll let you go into the dilemma. And then he'll do some things to call uh, a discussion. And then another thing he'll run into is a deliberation. Yes. Now watch. After he's given you the divine instructions, after you had the dilemma, and after you had the discussion, you're going to have to ponder some things. Yeah. <coughs> you're about to sit down and say, look here now. Yes. Here I am. I messed up right here. Yes. And God kept me. Yes. And he didn't let go. Yes. And I got to make up my mind, either I'm going to trust him, yes. or I'm going to let him go. Yes. Either I'm going to walk by faith yes. and not by sight. Yes. Right. Either I'm going to do what he say do, Amen. I'm going to do what I say do. Yes. Either, I know he, either, he, either I'm going to go by the plans he has to prosper me, yes. or I'm going to try to keep leading to my own understanding. Yes. Right. You got to see, you're in a dilemma. You got you to you start wearing some stuff. Yes. Right. Now watch it. Don't be, don't be so idiotic and don't be so stupid. If you see what God's telling you about wearing your stuff, don't try to tilt the scale. Yes. Right. You got to go where God's going. Yes. Because remember, he, he know the end from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Watch this. Everybody in here has an issue. Right. Yeah. We all just don't have the same issue. Yeah. Come on, we all got issues. Yeah. So you better put your issue on the scale. Yeah. And then watch it. When you put your issue on the scale, let it go as far as it can go. Yeah. Load it up. Yeah. And then you deliberate and you tell your issue how big your God is yeah. and drop him on the scale. Yeah. And then watch what happens. You better go with the scale and drop down and delete it out of the way. God is able to do exceedingly abundance above all that you can actually think according to the power that work within you, which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Boy, I ought to give myself all the way on that. Amen. See, you gotta you gotta sit down and think about that thing. See, watch it when when watch it, watch it. When Jesus was being nailed on the cross, y'all boy, boy about to feel like I can preach this thing right here, boy. They said Mary had to ponder some things. His mama had to think about some things. They put my boy on the cross. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. I could get mad. 
and be in unforgiveness. Yes. I may want to kill some of the Roman soldiers <coughs> for hanging my boy, yes. but let me think about this thing. Amen. Oh, he was supposed to hang. Because yeah. if he hadn't hung, yeah. it would be right. no salvation. Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Had to deliberate. Amen. 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 Then it comes down. But you got to learn yeah. to make a decision. Amen. Amen. You got to watch. The, the widow woman actually got all the information, had to, still the choice was hers. Yeah. She said, well, I'm going to make this cake and give it. See, watch. Oftentimes, when you make up your mind that you're going to follow God, it's going to get rougher. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Talk to me. You, 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 know, you know I'm telling the truth. Yes, when you make up your mind that you're going to trust God, yes. God, God said, I hear you talking. You talk, I hear your lips, but I'm going to see what your walk going to be like. Yeah. Are you going to trust me all the way? See, it's easy to trust God when you got some money in the bank. Right. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah, yeah, you got $10 or $15, dollars, throw it up. <laughs> you trust God. <laughs> but let it, let, let it come down in the negative. Amen. Then you panic. Right. Amen. Come on. Amen. Then you panic. You don't forget that quick that God is able. Yes, sir. You said he's able. But see, God is able in good times as well as in bad times. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? What? Amen. You don't praise God for the bad time, Amen. but you praise him in bad times. Yes, That's how you get delivered from rough times. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. See, listen, you got to stop just listening to songs. Amen. And don't even know what the song's saying. Yeah. Come on, come on. If you expecting great things, expect some great persecution. Amen. Amen. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't heard nothing I said. Anybody want a blessing from God? Anybody? Come on, talk to me. Anybody expecting a blessing from God? Well, I want you to know something. When God bless you, persecution come with it. It's touched to it. Yes, sir. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, sir. I, I, okay, okay, ain't nobody, no, okay, Amen. okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I, my wife loves me, so I'm going to talk about my wife. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> you know, back, back when God dragged my spirit back here some years back, long time ago, long time ago, long time ago. Amen. God said, Amen. God said, <laughs> get that woman, I don't know, <laughs> put her in a cat. The minute God put her in a cat, <coughs> she started making excuses. <coughs> Firm. <coughs> You can't believe folks talking about me. Yes, I can. Right. I, but I didn't buy it for you for them. I bought this for you. Right. Why you? This is why I bought it. I'm tired of them hoop just breaking down. Yeah. Gary on the scene. I can't call him. <laughs> Dante sleepy. I can't call him. <laughs> Daddy fishing. He ain't get off the fish bank. <laughs> That Tony old running up, uh, running, the, running, trying to get with the boys, but he ain't got time. So ho, ho, I, I, I'm sick of these cars breaking down. In the middle, I'm trying to eat some. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? So with the with the blessing come persecution. Right. Yep. <laughs> they hate them, but let them hate. Right. Mm -hmm. Let them hate. This why this why I said let them hate. I started looking back to my records, <laughs> my records. I said, tell them. I don't see nobody name on them checks but mine and yours. Amen. Every month. Mm -hmm. The down payment, I don't see nobody right. name on mine. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see, when they want to put a gas in it, it's, it's, it's just you and me. I said, let them hate. Right. They ain't paying nothing. Right. <laughs> right. You think I'm going to lose some sleep or you hating what I'm driving? Come on now. <laughs> and you ain't giving me a new no. See, if you, the blessing from God comes with persecution. That's why some folk will tell you, watch well, it. I don't know why you come to this church. Persecution. They ain't getting nothing, don't want you to get nothing. They see you blessed, so they start talking about you. And if they see you prosper, instead of coming where well, you got to get something with you, drink it from the same brook. Yeah. <laughs> they talking about it. Yeah. They brook dried up. They won't even move. Come on. Come on. And then some people got the nerve to say, church is born. Red flag. <laughs> church is born. That's your cue to participate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your cue to participate to make it grow. Yeah. <laughs> Be creative and come up with some ways 
to make it better. If you don't make it no better, me and Danny will still roll. Yeah. Come on, man. Yes, sir. We're going to roll. We're going to roll like Rohan. Yep. Yep. Trail boss and round roll. Come on. We're going to get the cattle to Kansas City. Yes, Amen. That's it. That's it. Amen. So you got to the bottom five instruction. Number two, you got to you gonna be in a dilemma. Number three, you got to make a decision, uh, have a discussion. Number four, you gonna have a decision. Number five, I mean, we gonna have a uh, number four, you have a deliberation. Number five, you gonna have a decision to make. And then number six, you gonna have to come into watch this some discipline. Yeah, all right. What am I talking about? Some of y'all, some of y'all, all right. <laughs> Will make a start. Amen. But your track record is you'll start, but don't finish. Yeah. Come on, man. That's, right. That's your track record. Yeah. See, this, <coughs> you can't start and stop. Because once you start and stop, it's going to get stuck. It's hard to start again. Yeah. And then your tendency is you'll stop. Mm. What? I'm going to show what I'm talking about. You got to be consistent with some things. Anybody ever apply for a job? I mean, well, maybe you got, maybe, okay, back in the day, if you apply for a job, and you know, and you come up, especially when you Rosalyn age, when I was Rosalyn age, I, up there, I got about age age, I probably had 50 jobs. <laughs> but then look on your resume. Oh, you sure worked a lot of jobs. <laughs> you think it's something, but you well, we, well, yeah, we do have an opening, but. Your track record say you ain't gonna stay long. Right. Yeah. So we ain't gonna hire you. <laughs> you had 25 jobs in eight months? <laughs> no, we ain't hiring you. Nicky been a manager. Nicky ain't gonna have no wages that came from my hub yesterday and, and, and then was that Robert Hop the day before. <laughs> she gonna leave the next day. Soon as you get paid, she leave. <laughs> See, God wants some consistency. Yes, yes. That's it. You gotta be, you gotta stay in that thing to the end. Yeah. See what? That that's why, that's why when you make when you call yourself a friend, you're supposed to be loyal. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to stay in that thing thick and thin. Yeah. I mean, you listen, you gotta be like Nicky and Angela. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, you gotta be extreme. When yeah. one cry, you cry. Yeah. I mean, you got to be, that's, that's my friend. You got to, uh, why you crying? I'm just gonna see crying. Oh, oh, just cry. <laughs> you gonna be in that thing together. Yeah. See, husband and wife gotta be in together. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I gotta tell this testimony on me. <laughs> when that's long ago. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Man, we Two, three or four days ago. <laughs> yeah, I was mad at the lovely lady T. Now, first lady. No. <laughs> Come on, not you. I was mad. I said, I know what I'm going to do. Man, see, Lord, the devil didn't make you be stupid. Yep. <laughs> then you are. Right. <laughs> I'm looking on the knife, man. Get what I see. Lowe's credit card. Yep. <laughs> it ain't my Lowe's credit card. Hey, at least my name ain't on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my pocket. I'm gonna go to Lowe's and do a number. I'm gonna be a mere patio at her expense. <laughs> Every time I get ready to go to Lowe's. <laughs> I would put up in the parking lot and keep going. <laughs> Something just wouldn't let me. Amen. Now what? I said, it, it, I, I know they can't be. So, so I go back home and I put the credit card back. Nice. <laughs> now I got my credit card and I go to low. I can go in the store <laughs> with my credit card. <laughs> no, ain't buying no more. My cause I'm mad. I'm gonna go back and get this credit card. I put the credit, the credit card in my pocket for a month. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't buy no co watch. It come to me, <coughs> it came to me after a dilemma, after deliberation, after discussion. Mm. Knucklehead, if you make the bill, it's yours to pay. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Ain't got no better sense than that. Mm. <laughs> if you cut her throat, reach up there, you bleed. Bleeding, amen. <laughs> Cause we won. That's right. <laughs> you 
said, the devil will make you move. I'm going to take, because they got her name, I'm going to take her credit card and go make her debt. Now, how stupid is that? And all she's going to say is, go and get you charged up, you know what I'm going to say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't wonder who charged her. Because right. y'all, nah, I'm going to tell you about my wife. She's checking them credit cards every day. Every day. If she give you a card to take those friends of money, she tracking you. She tra uh huh. You uh huh. You know, I see where you at. It's seventeen dollars seventeen cents. I know where you at. I told you not to spend that money. You better hurry up and put that back in my account. Right now. Not, not tomorrow. I said right now. Goodbye. I'm still talking to you, click. <laughs> Same as can. You know, good and well. You know, good and well, you ain't gonna pay it off in six months. And see what they get at, what you don't pay in six months, they take the six months and dump it on you. Now you 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 told me gonna be twelve dollars where you didn't pay in six months. So now it's gonna throw the seat down. Interest. You ain't get away with nothing. Hey man, you gotta be disciplined with that, amen. And this is what? If then once 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 you once you you know, you discipline to make a the right decision. See what? Don't ever make a decision without all the information you can get. Okay, okay, okay. Some of y'all don't want to go there. Watch. How many in a relationship? Amen. Amen. I know who in a relationship. Married or whatever. Amen. Watch. Ain't need to get mad. Especially if you're married. Because you made the decision. Amen. If her hair was looking good when you date her, right. yeah. she was wearing rollers and you just didn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> How you think her hair looking good? And if she was used to going to the hairdresser if she wasn't doing the rollers, and you gave her some money that time to go to the hairdresser, you don't start and you can't keep up. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. That's true. That's true. That's true. Come on. I'm on serious. Now, since I'm an equal opportunity pastor, and I am, women, wives, same thing it took to get it, gonna be the same thing to keep it. <laughs> boom, shabby like them, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Ain't nobody saying that now, but amen on the man's side. Amen, if you, listen, if, if, if you were dressing I'm going to be weird. If you were dressing provocative, then you better try to get provocative now. <laughs> All right? Amen. Okay. Amen. Take it for granted. And here comes Miss Sashay. <laughs> and Miss Sashay will sashay right on by him and next they know and now you may. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> The last, the seventh thing I want to talk about today is, oh, it's good time here, y'all doing good. I want to talk about, since you learned that the instructions are 
a directive or divine. You have to have a do a dilemma sometimes. You have a discussion. And you're going to have a deliberation. And then you're going to have a decision to make. And then you're going to have to be disciplined to make a decision. After you do all that, then here comes what God steps in for you. Now you deliver. Ah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Watch. Amen. I got, a, I got news other day. You might not think it's anything. It encouraged me, and I hope it encourages you. This person says, <clears throat> I, I felt like I should call somebody that would appreciate what I'm talking about. Huh. I just, we just, they said, we just got debt free. Huh. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I said, what you say? I know you would understand. I said, go ahead on. Debt free. Yeah. It was hard. But we had to stay disciplined. Yeah. They didn't say it on you. They said, they, they, we had to, when we made the decision to do it, it became hard. Yes. We thought about not doing it, but we thought we better keep on doing it since we got this far. You saw what with the thing? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And see, look, and yeah. the devil's so sneaky, he always tried to throw his old eight cent morph in there and yeah. try to get y'all trapped. Now, here come a relative calling and about, I'm $45 in the hole. Well, you're going to be $4,500 in the hole because I ain't been to send no money. All right, all right. All right. Not, no, not this time. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? I said, now, nah, I, I, I just got a, a good report, and here come a negative report. And what? When you get delivered, you need some help being delivered. Right. Right. You need some help, boy. You, right. Y'all, we need each other. Yes, right. yes, yes. Listen, watch this. When I come down like a ton of brick or like a lion sometimes, it ain't because I'm mad or trying to be mean. <coughs> I'm trying to get you to see what time it is. Yes, right. yes, amen, yes, amen. Yes, then yes. we come together and try to help each other, then the iron sharpens iron. Yes. Me and this man right here, we sharpen one another. Yes. So now he don't disrespect me, no respect. Don't get that wrong. Yes. He tells me some things I need to say. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm wearing him out sometimes, right. but he take it because he figure out iron is sharpening iron. Yeah. Now watch this. Me and the tablets decide since the weather got pretty last week, we're going to start back exercising like I need to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that took me, y'all. Like I need to. We're going to, we decided, we decided yeah. we're going to do three miles. Uh -huh. Well, we couldn't make it three. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I didn't make it three. Right. <laughs> I just get inside the back. <laughs> Gotta take my time. Thank you. I'm glad somebody see me. I gotta take my time. Tell me, you're telling me you ain't tired. You're not going I'm tired. I know when I'm tired. I'm sweating going on. I know I'm, I know my legs burning. I'm going to the car, just for that. Like I wasn't going anyway. So I go to the car. I'm sitting there. I'm chilling. She's going on walking. Go on walk, sister, with your bad self. See when you get back around here. Phone ring. What is Braylon? Y'all know Braylon. Grandson. Yeah. Brennan called. He gives me his weekly academic and athletic report. He won his basketball game, and he's on schedule to make four A's for the grading period. So, so as you, he's like, Poppy, what are you doing? I was, I'm chilling. You chilling? Where's Granny? I said, she walking our extra mile. You're not walking? I said, I did my two. How hard did she do? I said, three. And you didn't do three. I said, no, I got tired. I need to be there to motivate you. Yep. Oh. Yeah. 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 See, listen, he tried. I said, well, I got to get it now. I said, well, too late now. Here she come. I ain't going now. <laughs> but I got what? I got to get back in the mood. Yeah. I got to get back. I got to make it my business to get delivered from not wanting to do it. Because right. see, no pain, no gain. Okay. I got to go on and do it. Yeah. Yeah. When God is trying to get you delivered, sometimes it's going to be some pain. Yes, God. Watch this. I'm going to show you what the ultimate pain was. When they march your God and my Lord from judgment hall to judgment hall, they're accused of things he did not do. But the Bible says he never, never. said a moment yeah. word. Never. He didn't open his mouth. Yeah. They, are, they falsely accused my God and your Lord, and he didn't say a moment of word. They whipped that boy all night long, and he never said a moment of word. They beat him so bad his own mama didn't recognize. 
work of knowledge. That taking a whipping right there. But the Bible says he never said a mumbling word. When they hung him on dogs off the hill on the cross, he said that this when they were whipping, they never took go Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Then he said, get me off this cross. Because I'll tell you one thing. God in his intimate wisdom through his son Jesus. If Jesus would have said, come get me, he would have told him to help me get down here. And he'd have wrecked everything. Yes, for, for, to get him off that cross, yes. but he knew his boy had made a choice. Yes. <laughs> he made the right choice. Because he watched it just like with anybody else. Jesus was tempted in all ways. Because when he went to God, when, when he went to the God of Gethsemane, he said, Lord, remove this cup. Yes. He didn't know. He made the wrong choice now. Yes. So, Father, if it be your will, remove this cup. Yes. But what? He had to deliberate. Yes. Now, yes. since he deliberated, he ain't proud. Yes. Now, he said, wait yes. a minute. I'm here for a reason. Not in my will, yes. but not thy yes. will be done. Yes. Take me on up there. Yes. And then he made it plain. He said, watch this. You ain't taking nothing. Yeah. I'm laying down my yeah. life. I'm making the right choice. Yeah. I'm laying down my life for your sin. And, and, yeah. and I'm laying it down. You can't yeah. take nothing. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And that folks in so much pain and agony, yeah. but he didn't say nothing. He didn't walk it up on the cross, man, yeah. on the shoulder. And oh, everybody yeah. hollering and crying. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at him. He said, no, don't pray for me. Yeah. Don't cry for me. Christ is going to come up behind me. Because I'm able, well able, to carry this cross. Make the right choice. choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God. Yeah. God. Make it. Amen, amen. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Make the right choice. Yeah. It ain't out there what it costs you to make the right the choice. Right choice. Yeah. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if God purposed in my heart, to give 45, 55, 65 dollars and turn around and bless up with six thousand yeah. dollars, you better bet your bottom dollars over the number forty five. Yeah. Yes, Cause he able. Yes, he is. If God tell you to treat somebody right and then your way with child come back, yes. you better treat somebody right. right. Yes. That's not what I'm saying. Yes, God. If God tell you to love your wife mm. as he loves the church, Amen. you better do that. Right, right. That's true. You better do that. When he tell you why, submit yourself unto, the, unto your husband and ask the Lord, you better ask unto the Lord. Yes. Then you got to do that because he got some prayer for you. Yes, yes. See, you're in a dry place right now. Amen. But you're finna come into a wealthy place. Come on now. Come on. A land flowing with milk and honey. Yes, How is you didn't feel? Yes, God. Fingers you didn't plant. Yes. God gonna send stuff your way. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, yes, yes. I'm out of time. Hallelujah. Amen.